Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install AVG Antivirus. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on free download and you now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, you now need to run the setup file. You will now end up with a window that looks like this. But before we go any further, you now need to decide if you want to install the AVG Secure Browser. I don't want to install this option, so I'm going to deselect it. And you now need to click on Customize. You can now choose where you'd like to install AVG Antivirus. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive, so I'm going to leave it like that. And you can go ahead and select which components you'd like to install as well. I recommend just leaving it how it is on the recommended protection, but you can go ahead and customize this if you want. We can now go ahead and press install. Once the install has finished, you will then end up with a window that looks like this. We can now go ahead and press continue and you can now go ahead and run your first scan. As you can see, no threats were detected in any of my browsers, which means I can go ahead and press next and it's now detected no malware on my computer or any viruses, which is also good news. So I can go ahead and press next as well. There are a few advanced issues which we could go ahead and press resolve, but you do need to have the premium version of AVG when it comes to doing the advanced issues. I'm just going to go ahead and press resolve now to show you this. There we go. As you can see, there's a one year subscription, which is currently £19, or you can choose the monthly subscription, which is £4.99 a month. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and I'm now going to close down this trial window as well as I'm not interested in the trial. We can now go ahead and press skip for now. I do recommend you give the free version of AVG a go before purchasing the premium of AVG. Because to be honest the free version is just as good as the paid version. There we go, we can now schedule in a smart scan once a month, which I do recommend you keep that ticked. We can now go ahead and press done again. And we can ignore this unless you want AVG on your mobile. And there we go, as you can see we have basic protection, our computer is protected, which is great. And it also has real time enabled, which means if a virus all of a sudden comes onto my computer when I'm browsing the web, it will automatically detect that virus and stop it unless it's a new virus that isn't in the AVG database yet. We also have our web and email protection on as well. If we want to run a scan, we can run a smart scan here, or we can click on the three dots. This will then let you do a deep scan, a file or folder scan. If you have a specific folder or file that you want to scan, we can do a boot time scan, a USB and DVD or a performance scan. And that is it for AVG. Like I said, it's a very good free antivirus program if you want to keep your Windows 10 system protected. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forums.